Morning. I'm inside the Wadler home and you can see the water in some places was three and a half feet deep. Uh, the cleanup has begun to get this mess cleaned up, but it's happening from house to house to house and of course throughout the whole hurricane zone. Let me take you outside and you can see what was created here was about 10 years worth of household garbage in just a matter of days. You know, if a hurricane has stages, first there is, of course, survival. Then there is the cleanup, which is underway right now. And then there is the rebuilding process. Insurance companies believe for the first time they have some high tech that should be able to smooth what is a very trying process. This morning, for some victims, the enormity of Harvey's long-term impact only just now coming into focus. About everything we own was destroyed. Houston homeowner Michael Wadler had flood insurance and homeowner's insurance, but still, he's worried. You just wonder whether or not they're going to pay you enough to get back what you lost. As some settle into a new day-to-day -day survival in the hurricane zone, America's insurance industry is facing a big test. This could be one of the costliest natural disasters in U.S. history. Insurance losses estimated as high as $37 billion. On a runway in Corpus Christi, this small plane taking off with ultra-high definition cameras on board. Aerial photos taken last year of the entire nation allow Allstate to compare images from before and after Harvey. Insurance companies hope the new tool can help speed up the claims process. What it does is it pairs before and after photos with some learning from a computer to identify the damage and get that information in our hands maybe even before a customer reports a claim. This is also the first major natural disaster where homeowners and insurance adjusters are using drones to see the devastation from above. In some cases, we don't even need to get out to the property to start the repairs. Insurance companies like Allstate, State Farm, Farmers and Travelers are flying drones sun up to sun down in Texas right now as they process claims. We use drones commonly now also to create a visual image of the damage and it's really advanced the entire claim process. AT&T and Verizon are also using drones to keep people connected, looking for damage to cell phone networks in areas too flooded to reach. Hello? It's a critical link for people like Kelly Decker, who have lost so much. I wasn't expecting this at all. Those without insurance, like Kelly, have to now rely on charity and the federal government. What do you expect the government and FEMA to do for you? I'm expecting them to help me, to help me try to find a house to where I can help survive with my family. Kelly Decker, who is unemployed like so many people, will rely on the government to get that help. That's what FEMA does. There is one critical deadline, 60 days to apply for help for housing. Meantime, here in this home, the family says that they will rebuild. But then comes the next problem, contractors. Because there is so much work and so few contractors, people have to be very careful to make sure who they decide will rebuild their house after this disaster. Guys? It's incredible to see the aftermath and then know that it's repeated hundreds of thousands of times around uh, that whole area. God bless. It yeah. really is. It's hard to look at there. And Carrie, thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.